Hi everyone, I'm Liz. This is Vera's my bag. I am here today to do a haul of the bags that I bought from the recent uh, release um, that Vera Bradley did collaborating with Disney for their Disney 100 celebration. Um, Vera released uh, two patterns in quite a bit of bag and accessory styles. Um, and um, so I bought quite a bit um, I, it took a long time to get to me. There was, uh, train delays and, uh, blizzards and things like that. So I think I got it last Monday. So it's been a week that I've had it, but I just hadn't had a chance to do a video I'm in the middle of tax season here. <laughs> it's like, I just finally finished all the taxes yesterday. So, um, I'm now able to film this. Um, anyway, so the, um, the this release i was joking somewhere about the fact that this could possibly be the last time i ever buy vera bradley from the, the from the website it probably isn't but it felt that way it's like oh this is like the pinnacle of what they could possibly give us as vera collectors um so this pattern these patterns were um based on um a pattern that was released in 1990 by Vera called Tavern on the Green. And it is a beloved pattern. It's a pattern that collectors are always looking for. It's hard to find because it's so old, 1990, 33 years old. Um, and so it's hard to find bags that are still in good condition from Tavern on the Green. And so it's to have Vera, it's the pinnacle of like, you know, Vera bringing back a pattern that we love. So it's a, it's a pattern that people want to collect. It's a pattern that you can't find as easy. And um, they released it using Disney classic characters with the pattern. So the, the characters they use are from the classic Disney animated films. Um, I do believe that this, the first film came out, like, I want to say it was in the, in the 1940s, maybe even earlier. Maybe it was the 50s. I don't know. Um, I'll try to put down in the notes the very first um, movie and and what the release date was. But I just feel like I remember that it was uh, it was during war, you know, kind of war times. Um, anyway, um, they so these are the classic characters from um, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland. Winnie the Pooh, um, and Bambi. I think that's the, that's all the movies. Um, so there's characters on the, on the items from that. Um, but before I do that, I kind of wanted to just show you real quick again. I think I've shown it in prior videos, but I do have a bag in this pattern, which is Tavern on the Green from 1990. I do have a bag, um, in this pattern. So I just kind of wanted to show you, um, what the, the pattern is based off of. Um, so this is that beloved pattern that collectors like to find. I did find this extra large tote somewhere on a third party site, um, probably Mercari or something, for not too much money. Um, and I bought it right away. I don't use this bag a lot. It's kind of like I don't want to, it's, it's from 1990. I'm afraid that it'll get, you know, uh, worn out too easily or whatever, but it is gorgeous. And there's all sorts of bunnies and other, you know, woodland characters. There's squirrel and some birds. And then of course you have a rooster and unicorn and there's, or unicorn, and then there's a staghorn or an elk, some sort of a, a, a deer. So anyway, this is the pattern that the Disney pattern is um, kind of based off of. So I just want to show you that real quick. So I want to show you the bags. So I don't know if I said this already, because I've refilmed this a couple times, because I keep changing what I want to say. Um, but I am I ordered a, a quite a bit. Um, I when we first heard about it, I was like, I'm going to order everything. Like I really want everything in this. I'm not, I'm just going to have to spend the money, and they're expensive. They're very expensive. But I thought, you know, this is a one time release. It's Disney, so people are going to be collecting it. It's going to be hard to find. And I thought, you know, it's limited edition. You're not going to be able to get it forever. They're not going to remake it. So if you're looking, if you want to collect a piece, you should get something now before they're gone. Just warning you. Um, I uh, decided that I was going to try to look at the, I was going to go over to, the only retail store I have that has Vera is Dillard's here. So I decided I was going to go over to my Dillard's and um, see it in person because I just wanted to see what it looked like and see 
the, whatever they had at Dillard's, I would be able to pick out the pattern placement that I wanted to make sure I got the characters in the spots if I could. Um, so I, I, you know, made sure I got up and went over to the Dillard's. They opened at 11. It was on that release morning, Thursday. I can't remember which, which day it was, which date, but, um, I went over to the Dillard's and I went in and I was so shocked that their Vera Bradley section had been reduced to like just a, one wall. It used to be like a whole section in the store and they had a lot in there in, in Vera Bradley. And I went up to the counter where I could see the Vera behind and there wasn't any Disney out. And I had called the night before and they had said that they they weren't putting it out until the next, you know, overnight or the next day in the morning. So I was thinking it was going to be out and people, there would be like a whole horde of people there like trying to buy the bags and picking over pa pattern placement. There was nobody in there. And the one clerk that I found was like, oh, there's a new release. I don't, I didn't know. <laughs> so she went in the back and they only got one box, like a, a box, you know, like a 24 by 30 inch box. There was only one item of each um, item that she had for me to look at. She had a small Vera tote, a family tote, a blanket, and a couple of wallets, um, and I think one of the new mini tote packs. So that was what she had, and she pulled them out all, all on the counter for me. And I looked at the small Vera tote because that was, I thought, well, that's, you know, I'm not really sure about these other items yet, but I'll look at this. And I was just, at, when I first saw it, I, it's, it's different than the, it's a little bit different from ta the Tavern on the Green because the colors didn't qu look quite as vibrant to me. Um, and the other thing was that because it's in the recycled cotton, that looked a little bit, I, it didn't have a faded look to it, but I could definitely see, you know, the weaving in the, in the cotton. And at first I was like, I don't know about spending the money on this when I had already, you know, kind of like, it just depends on kind of the recycled cotton that you get and, and the particular um, pattern that it's released in from Vera. Um, how much you can see that weaving. And so the bag I looked at, at, at Dillard's just, I didn't, I just thought I'm going to wait. Like, I just don't feel quite sure yet. So I waited until later that day, or maybe it was the next, I think it was the next day on Friday. And some people were showing the bags that they had got, gotten and gone and bought, um, um, at a retail store and I thought you know I'm just not going to risk it because I don't want to risk not getting something and then regret it later you know um, so I decided to call um, a couple of out, a couple of stores see if I could get somebody to help me with pattern placement with Insta with um, sending me text message photos because I heard that you could do that um, so I called the Severville um, store because they had posted that they had some things at their store on Instagram. So I called them first and um, I ended up getting, um, they didn't have all the items. They had, uh, I, I believe I, I can't remember exactly which items I got from that store, but so I ordered two things from that store. I believe it was the zip ID and the small beer tote. I'm pretty sure I ended up ordering that from that store. And then um, I called the Disney Springs store and they were very helpful and did a lot of text messaging with me. And I ordered a couple of items from there. Um, and then later the next day, I think it was on that Saturday that I started really uh, seeing the Glenna. Um, and I knew that this pattern, because it was kind of fe uh, feminine, would look really great in a Glenna. If the Glenna is not if the Glenna looked okay, because we've seen some changes in the Glenna that I was not sure about. And so um, I saw somebody, um, I, I asked a store to po send me pictures of a Glenna. Um, I have, a, there's another store in this next state over and they were able to send me pictures of Glennas and I thought they look okay. Like, all right. Well, actually, I think I saw somebody post one that they were in a store in South Carolina or somewhere. And so I called the store that was closer to me in the next state over and to see if they had any, and they sent me some pictures. So um, I was able to kind of choose pattern placement. So um, that was a long explanation <laughs> and a long introduction, but that's kind of where I was with this. There is, um, now I'll get to it at the end when I get to the end. And this is gonna be long because I do have quite a few items. So I'm going to timestamp 
and I may have to take a break because it's dinner time there. That's always seems to be the time when I get to film. So I may be coming back to this at another point, but I will timestamp the individual items in the notes below. All you have to do if you're on a, I don't think, I don't know if you can do this from a cell phone, but if you're on a pad or on your, on a, a PC, if it looks like the timestamp is in blue, um, you'll be able to just click it and it'll take you to that point. Otherwise, you'll have to just kind of manually look for that timestamp of where I talk about each item. So we're going to start off with um, the item that uh, I have probably the most to say about, and that is the Glenna. Hang on. Okay, let's take a look at the Glenna. I'm just going to step back here a little bit. So this is... Um, I just want to mention that the Glenna has had some changes to it over the last couple of years. So in a prior version of the Glenna, which I don't have one out, but I have shown pictures of it and um, you can find that on my Instagram, um, that the Glenna, the uh, prior Glenna had piping on the top and on this edge here. So you... You know, it made it so you could see kind of the delineation between these two curves here. Um, but the Glenna is a very um, rounded sort of poofy bag, um, which is one of the things that I really love about the Glenna. If you've watched my videos in the past, you will know that I am a big Glenna lover. Um, and so I was really hoping that because I there's been a couple of Glennas that have been released that I bought in... Um, patterns last year after they made the change to recycled cotton that the Glennas were a lot more they felt taller and narrower and you we lost that sort of blousey rounded bottom look that we would get um, in these Glennas so this Glenna I was very happy to see when I got it that it felt a lot back to the old Glenna it might be about you know, half an inch narrower um, and a half an inch taller than the old Glenna. I think that has more to do with the cuts and how it's kind of put together. So I've seen a couple of things that have changed on the Glenna, but all in all, I'm really, really pleased with this. The straps are just a tiny bit shorter than what they used to be, So, but it's still a pretty good strap drop. I think it's 11 inches and the last Glenna was closer to 12. Um, so it just, you know, like this still fits um, as a shoulder bag. It, you know, it's not touching the underneath of my armpit. I feel like the old Glenna was just a little bit lower than this, but I'm still perfectly happy with this Glenna. Like I am thrilled with this Glenna. This, this other than kind of wanting a little bit different pattern placement. I'm thrilled with the way it looks. So this I'm going to be keeping because I'm not going to, you know, I, I decided I'm not going to try to keep returning and try to get a different pattern placement. Um, there, this, this pattern, this is, sorry, this is getting a little bit kind of all over the place, but this pattern is called um, Classics on the Green. And um, it is very much like the um, old pattern um, it's a little bit busier. There's a little bit more black space on the old pattern. You know, partially they've added a few more elements and of course all the extra characters. So um, this is the front of the bag. I always have to check, but the tags are still on it. So I know it's the front of the bag. Um, and it's just gorgeous. Like it's just gorgeous. I'll talk to you more about the features in just a second, but let's look at the uh, Tavern on uh, Classics on the Green. Uh, pattern and all the characters that are here. Let me tuck away these tags so they're not bothering us while we're looking at this. Um, the only reason the tags are still on is because I was still kind of thinking I wanted to try to find another pattern placement because when I was when she sent me pictures of this one, I really really liked it because of where the characters were, but I didn't notice that Snow White, the top of Snow White's head was a little chopped off there. And so I'm a little bit like, 
kind of like, oh, should I try to find one that has the Snow White just down a little bit more? But I think I've come to a place where it's sort of like, I've got so much of this and that pattern repeats itself. And so I think I'm good. Um, anyway, so there you can see, first of all, let's just look at this, the dot work, because this is one of the things that just attracts me to this pattern so much. I am crazy about dots in my patterns. I love dot work. Um, and I also really love patterns that have a lot of small elements um, that are, you know, like very busy on a bag. I really like Petite Garden because of all the small elements. Um, a lot of the ditzy interior patterns of bags I really love because of all the small elements. And so this just really, really is just gorgeous to me. Like I can't get enough of looking at the this pattern. <laughs> um, so let's just look at some of the characters and um, and I'll tell you kind of why, you know, this one was um, attractive to me. You know, in, in it, overall, um, I love the pattern overall. I love all the characters. Some of the characters I'm more fond of from emotional standpoint, but when I look at sort of the balance of color in a bag, there's characters that maybe I'm not quite as attached to from the films, but they add a color element that to me is important and I wanted to get a balance of that. So um, some of my bags are heavier on Peter Pan and the Lost Boys and Wendy. Some of them are heavier on Snow White um, and the Dwarfs and some Winnie the Pooh um, and uh, Bambi. So it's just a it's just a matter of what I was trying to balance out color wise. So this bag has a Bambi square in the center, which is very nice. And of course we have Snow White up here. Um, I think it's sneezy or grumpy here. I'm pretty sure it might be sneezy. And then I think we have Doc over here. I don't know the the dwarf characters that well. Um, there's also. Um, There's, there's a lot of blues that show up in this pattern, and I was trying to get balancing of the blues and the reds and the whites. I really like all of those. I think probably the yellows, these sort of um, warmer gold yellows um, are my least favorite, but I love the yellow in Snow White's dress. So I was trying to always get a little bit of her yellow in my patterns. Um, this one has Tigger. You can see Tigger here from Winnie the Pooh. Uh, down here. This is Wendy, and I believe, I can't remember the boy's name from Peter Pan. There's um, Wendy and her brother. You can't see his head. He's cut off here, but we'll see it more in another place. I, I can't remember his name. Here's, um, I think, I'm trying to look up close here. Oh no, that's one of the dwarfs. So there is th three dwarfs in here. There's Tinkerbell. Um, this is the uh, this is from Alice in Wonderland. The hookah, hookah smoking uh, caterpillar that was in the tree, um, and then this is. Let's see. I can't really see from my vantage point what that is. Well, we've got Snow White there. There's a full Snow White, and of course, little the little bluebirds that were in Snow White. Um, the, I think this is one of the rabbits from. Bambi, if I th remember right, Bambi had, yeah, so here's Bambi, and there's one of the rabbits. Um, so yeah, so there's, let's take a look at the side of the bag, and we can get more of, I love these white flowers too, that I was always like looking for a balance of these white, and I'm, I'm very attracted to the, the pinks, the reddish flowers, and this whole element here with the swirls, of course, I'm just mad. I'm mad about these leaves. Like I love that lime and the yellow together. I really love that. Um, so let me switch this around here and see what we got on the back. So I think I, one of the reasons I chose this bag was also for the back because this has a good Peter Pan on it with Tinkerbell and then this pink flower, which I really like. And here's Wendy. I can't remember her brother's name. I want to say it's Peter, but it's not. That's not Peter. This is Peter Pan. Um, so you just, I love uh, like this little, this little grouping of orange flowers here. I like this too. These are kind of, 
lilies, like fritillary lilies. This is the group of lost boys that everybody kind of is not attractive to, or attracted to. For me, in the balance of color, not worrying about what the character is in these, I really like the balance of getting more pink, like these, because they have some pink in here. Um, and I, I also really like the balance of the blues uh, with, this is Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore and Piglets in here. And so those, you know, get the blue of Eeyore balanced out with all these blues. So I'm just really a fan of sort of the, the color, all the colors that are in here. Um, one of the, so Peter Pan has the turquoise, which I really, really love. I wanted to get some of that in all the bags. And also I think one of the elves, one of the dwarves has turquoise as well. Um, so let's see if we can get back to where the dwarves were up here. Yes, so this one, which is sleepy or grumpy, I think it's sleepy, um, has their turquoise. We also have some turquoise in, here's the other dwarf here, so I guess there's three of them. So there's one up here. Um, that might be grumpy. I don't know, I should look them up. But these turquoise uh, elements that are f showing up in here, I really love as well. And that's one of the reasons that I wanted a balance of all of the patterns um, to get some of that. And you'll see some of the different things that I chose in different um, balance, in different uh, different placements of the pattern. So the Glenna, um, one of the reasons that the Glenna kind of changed a little bit is that from what I could tell, they moved the eyelets, you know, these, these pull strings that will tighten and cinch this bag. They moved the eyelets up about a half an inch from where they used to be down here. And when that pulls, it makes the bag a little, so the, the portion that's above the eyelets is shorter than it used to be. Um, when it was down below, this would stick out a little bit further. And I did measure the top of the bag is like a half an inch to an inch shorter as well. And that's what makes it get more of a north-south look than the old bag used to have. Um, but I'm overall, I'm just like thrilled that this particular Glenna is back to kind of more of the shape and um, size and what it will fit than the last one. So one of the other things I was a little concerned about was sort of the, because there's no piping on the top edge, this gets a little bit wonky and not of straight line like it used to be. And so sometimes the bag, particularly when it's open, will be bending and pulling in places depending um depending on how it's who's cut it and or who's sewn it i guess it's probably more than more than that the other thing that i noticed is after i started putting things in the bag so i do have things in this bag um that it poofed out a little bit more on the bottom and gave me more of that big bottom look that i really really like look at that peter pan there and look at this this is i just love this right here and this pink flower. So it gave me more of that big poofy bottom look that I really want in a Glenna that I really like. But the other thing that helped and which I'll give you a little bit of a, a tip is that I put in some tissue paper um, in the front and back pocket because these were flattened so hard when it was shipped um, that they wouldn't poof out for me. So I stored a bunch of tissue paper in those two pockets and got it to sort of poof out in these because these are pouches are very poofy um, and will stick out and give you that more wide bottom look if you can get them poofed out so I did stick tissue paper in those and got them um, quite poofed out and uh, giving me that shape that I want so inside I'm just each bag that I show you I'm going to have basically kind of similar things inside so you can see what fits inside of them so this gives you kind of a look inside the Glenna and as you can see sort of see like this this does not want to come out correctly this I felt like the zipper was a little short like they didn't give it enough room and so this is kind of when it it just keeps wanting to pull in and make this kind of uneven and wonky in here um, but I think I'll get used to it it's just not exactly the same way that the old Glenna used to be so in here I've got a turn lock wallet um, a regular cosmetic and sort of a long skinny makeup brush cosmetic and um, I think I had a, 
actually, I think, yeah. So I've got two, actually I've got two on, kind of an on the roll underneath there and a, ma and a makeup brush on the top because I just wanted to like fill it up so it would look full. Um, so that's kind of currently what's in that bag. And of course the Glenna has two um, in the front, two uh, slip pockets right here, as well as a large uh, zip pocket in the back. Um, so you can see the, the Disney thing on here. So let me, I'll just pull those items out so that I can show you real quick. So that gives you kind of the interior of the Glenna. And of course the interior pattern is so adorable as well. There's so much going on on this interior pattern. There's the clock from the Mad, I think it's from the Mad Hatter, or from Alice in Wonderland, the clock. Um, you can see the hammer spike from the dwarves. There's apples, I think, that Snow White was carrying. Um, you're going to see mushrooms and flowers. Um, I think uh, here's the honey pots from Winnie the Pooh. Um, there's a lot of cute little uh, elements in this interior uh, ditzy pattern. Lots of white and pink flowers. I just, that's a, just a really, really cute interior. And it, again, it's very attractive to me because I like a lot of small elements kind of crammed together. <laughs> that's my favorite. Um, so you can see kind of like, you get an idea of sort of this, the opening of the Glenna. So anyway, I think this is a keeper. Okay, I'm back, it's after dinner. And now, of course, I've lost a lot of the light. So I've got a ring light to sort of help a little bit. And the, the, the rest of the items, we've looked really detailed at the pattern on the Glenna. Um, so on the classics on the green pattern on the Glenna. So this is just going to be kind of to show you the different uh, pattern placement that I got on the other couple of bags. Um, I did order um, a small Vera tote, which is what this one is. And, uh, let me get the tag out of the way. Um, I ordered a small Vera and I ordered a regular Vera. I'll show you that in a second. Um, I decided to order both because I wasn't sure. And of course this, I was worried about it selling out really quickly. Um, and so this placement here got me another Peter Pan and um, Tinkerbell. Um, and then um, the white rabbit with his timepiece, which I really like here. And of course, I really like all the dot work again. This is classic, classics on the green. Um, I'm trying, I'm straining with my own eyes to try to sort of see characters. Um, but I think like here's Bambi. But this one gave me, um, the reason I picked this one was because I, I liked that it didn't have quite as much gold flowers on it. I liked getting more of the heavy amounts of the green and the dot work um, and stay away from sort of the gold flowers. There's a little bit over here, but I wanted kind of to have this main part without the gold. Um, Cause I, in some, in some bags, the gold got too heavy for me and I, I'm not, it's not one of my favorite parts of the pattern. So really getting this pink flower here and this one down here. Um, and then we'll just look at the back. Uh, I got a full snow white. I got the white flowers here, which I really like those. There's Eeyore up here, another Peter Pan. Um, more, more of the white flowers. There's another um, white rabbit. Here is um, the grouping of the Lost Boys with these fritillary flowers. So yeah, so this bag was, the goal was in a way not to get a lot of the very heavy gold flowers on it. And then here's the, um, and again, I haven't figured out which I'm keeping. Um, I already have the Glenna and I know I'm going to keep a Glenna. And so I don't know if I need another medium size, like the medium size tote, the small bear tote, which is more medium like the Glenna. So I'm thinking that, um, I would prefer to keep the large Vera tote even though I don't use the large Vera tote that often like that's the thing like I don't really go anywhere but it's such a nice big piece of fabric of the pattern again classics on the green um, let me tuck these in up here so you can see 
the pattern. So this one has the centered uh, snow white, white flowers. You've got a little bit more of the gold here. Um, and this one I liked because I got the Tigger right in the center in the upper pocket. Um, Peter Pan again. Here's Alice. I think this is the first time I've seen Alice on one of the bags that I showed you. But it's just, I mean, all of this like stem work with the flowers and the dots is just so attractive. Um, Peter Pan on this um, panel. So I just don't know that I could say that there's really like a bad uh, pattern placement in this pattern. I think it's all good. I was not um, concerned about getting Winnie the Pooh constantly on everything. I wanted the whole thing. I wanted that balance of all the, the um, and the, the thing I'll say about the Vera Tote is that it feels thicker than the small Vera Tote. To me, the padding feels heavier. It feels more substantial and is probably the reason that I'll end up keep, keeping the Vera Tote um, instead of the small Vera Tote. So it's the standard configuration. Let me show you the back um, of this Vera Tote. It's got a Peter Pan again. I really like the, tur the turquoise of Peter Pan. And here's Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. I've got the Wendy and whatever his name is. I can't remember. I wish I had looked it up. There's Alice again. Just gorgeous. Just such such gorgeous pattern. I and this right here, I was start noticing this yesterday. Has these like little flowers that are brown and green. I really love those. I really love those. There's one other flower placement that I'm really kind of wild about. I think it's these little orange ones. But there's Tigger again here. Really love the Tigger. He's so cute. Yeah, so uh, this is this bag. There's Bambi. I know that um, I think it's Thumper that's with Bambi. Like Bambi has Thumper and Flower. Um, those are the characters with Bambi. I'm trying to see if I can point out I do see there's Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. And I do think, I don't know which character this is. It's, um, so it's Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore, Piglet, and Rue. I think this is Rue. Or, uh, is Rue the uh, mom? I can't remember, but it's one of the, the kangaroos down there. And there's an owl here. I really like these flowers too. So anyway, so yeah, that's the that's the um, the large Vera tote, which I think you're all familiar with. Um, okay, so this is a new um, item, and this is the, also the second pattern, which is called. Um, the classic swirl pattern. Um, and so this is a little different than that pattern because it's a little bit um, less of a, uh, of a pattern. It repeats more often, so um, you're more likely to get good pattern placement on smaller items with this classic swirl pattern. Um, it does not have the dot work. It has more of these swirly ribbony looking things. Still you've got the lime leaves um, and it has um, not all of the characters. I, Peter Pan is not in this but you do have uh, Bambi and uh, Alice in Wonderland and then we have the Cheshire Cat. I don't know if the Cheshire Cat is on the classics on the green pattern. I didn't pay attention. But here's a, um, one of the dwarfs. There's Winnie the Pooh down here. So I got a repeat of these white flowers, which I really like that. I kind of wanted something that looked similar to what was in the um, catalog. Um, so I asked if they had one that was close to it, and this was the one that was the closest to it that I could find. The other thing I really liked when I saw the picture in the catalog was that um, the strap on this bag, which is called, I think it's called the small crossbody which is almost the size of a mini hipster. Um, 
I think it's the mini hipster, um, which is sort of, you know, a very small crossbody that can hold, um, the mini hipster is very narrow, very, very shallow. So you only can put like really like a wa one, one wallet and a couple of small items. This one actually has a little bit, um, deeper base on it. I think it was one and a half inches. Um, or maybe two, maybe. But the other one was, is very narrow. So anyway, this is the um, the small crossbody, and I'll I'll show you the inside of it in just a second. But I um, what I wanted, what I saw the the um, strap in the catalog, the placement of this yellow from Snow White's dress. I love that yellow, and I really wanted that to show up on this strap because this strap is wider than. Um, the mini hipster has a really skinny strap. This one was wider. And I thought that looked really great with all that yellow on it. It's just very summery or spring. It reminds me of daffodils. And so I, want, I searched for one that had good placement on the front and then also had a lot of yellow on the strap because I really wanted the yellow on the strap. Um, but this is, um, this is a, a small, very small crossbody. Um, I may keep this, I haven't decided yet. Um, because I have so many other small crossbodies, but I really wanted that strap. I really liked it. And in the catalog, it also had a um, picture. It had, was it was shown with, or I think it was on the advertisements. It was shown with this hanging off the side. So I ordered one of these, and this is a key loop, um, like a, uh, a wristlet loop sort of key loop. Um, and so I looked for one that also had yellow on it because I really liked that. And uh, they found me one. This was from, I believe this one was from Disney Springs. So they found me that. Um, so I ordered the two of those to go together because I really thought that was cute kind of hanging off there, almost like it was a bag charm. Um, so it's got a pocket in the back here for your cell phone. Um, it has a crossbody strap so I can lengthen that and use it for walking the dog or going for my walks when I'm just listening to podcasts or whatever. Um, it has a key leash inside, which is very handy. Um, and I've got just, I loaded up a uh, kind of a trifold wallet in here, um, just so you could see what would fit. Got my asthma spray and a hand lotion. And that kind of gives you an idea of the interior. It's, fair, it's pretty small, um, but you do have this other uh, snap in the front um, where you can put and this has a gusset on it so you can actually put like your tissue case or something else like chapstick in the front there and your and your keys um, so it holds more than what I could usually get in a mini hipster the factory mini hipster I guess there's I don't know if there's a signature mini hipster but it holds more um, than I could get in one of those um, and this gusset sort of gives you some room to get extra in here. Um, so that's, that's the small crossbody. And again, this pattern repeats itself so often. It's very easy to so see Snow White and Snow White. It's very easy to get um, the characters in here um, in a small uh, piece of fabric. Okay, so let's look at um, three other small items that I got um, in the classic swirl. Um, first of all, I got a, a zip ID, and this is what I got with, I ordered this with the small beer tote from Severville. They helped me find this placement. They actually, it seemed like it was really easy to get pretty good placement on these small items, like I said, because of the repeat patterns so often. So they had quite a few that, you know, were almost the same. And so I chose this one because I was able to get Bambi, Winnie the Pooh, um, Tinkerbell and Snow White all on the front of this one. Um, and you can see that Dissy pattern interior in here. The back of this is also the same as the front, although I've heard um, from a couple other people that some of the sewing on some of the small items, they had used classics on the green on one side and the swirl on the other side. I don't know if that was a mistake, but mine didn't come like that. so. Um, yeah, so that's a normal zip ID. Then I also ordered the clip and zip um, because I've never had one of these before. And so I thought I'll get it and we'll see. I may end up sending one or the other back. I don't know if I need both of those. Um, but this um, had a good placement with Alice and Snow White. 
Winnie the Pooh Tiggers on that side. So the um, the rendition of Winnie the Pooh on this one is a little different than the other one, I think, because I think Tigger was not on that side on the other one. So there's Alice and the Cheshire Cat. And then on this side, I've got Winnie the Pooh. I got Tinkerbell in the center and then Alice on the side. Bambi down at the bottom so with the white flowers. So this is a clip and zip. Um, this is the first one of these that I've ever had. So it has this lanyard that you can, um, sort of like a wristlet strap, so you can um, put, you can take this off and use it for clipping your keys or you can just leave it on there as a, um, just a sort of a decoration, as a wristlet loop and a decoration. Um, and then on the interior, you've got a little, um, you've got two little slip cases for cards here. Um, and then that's just one main pocket there. And you can see the Disney logo in there. So that's the clip and zip. Um, and then I did decide to get a turn lock wallet um, and this is another one that I'm on the kind of on the fence about um, mainly because of the way that this particular buckle strap got sewn and I'll show you in a second but um, yeah I got some I got of course the same Disney's the classic swirl you can get pretty good placement on almost anything got the Winnie the Pooh, the Tinkerbell, and the Alice with the Cheshire Cat, and Bambi down here, um, and the back. Um, and the, the pattern, uh, the pattern, um, I should say, the pattern kind of flips this way, so because it's one solid piece of material. Got a little, I think that's a little bird. I can't see if that's, oh no, that's a little rabbit. That might be Thumper. And then Winnie the Pooh. And then the dwarfs. Um, so this is the normal turn lock, um, but what I, the reason why I may not keep this is because this, this piece of material here, I don't know if you can see it, I'm being kind of picky, but it is expensive, um, is not sewn correctly, and so it doesn't fold right, and it doesn't lay down correctly, it's kind of got this like weird bump, almost like like something like card, it looks like cardboard got bent, but it's not, there's no, I don't think there's cardboard. I think that the, the, the material was kind of buckled when it was sewn. So it just doesn't, that strap, so you can see it's sticking up there. It doesn't lay flat. So I'm either going to try to find another one, but this one is definitely gonna get returned because it's, there's something just kind of odd about that. Um, and when I open it, you can, you can sort of see this is just, it's oddly kind of wonky, especially on that side. It's sort of wonky. I mean, I could live with it, but I shouldn't have to for, for that kind of money. So I think the, yeah, this is like listed. This was $80, so this is definitely going to go back. And you know, what I, what I kind of was starting to think is like, I, I haven't looked on the website to see if any of this Disney 100, um, items have completely sold out on the Vera website because usually by this time with a Disney or a Harry Potter, they've, some items will already have been sold out and that's how you know it's like so popular that you're not gonna see it at then reduced it to 50% in an outlet later. So what I was gonna say is some of these items are to me not quite as important and maybe not quite as popular and so we may see them later at 50% off at some of the outlets. Like we have seen Harry Potter show up and we've seen the Star Wars show up at 50% off at some of the outlets. Not all the items. Um, some items sell out faster than others. But so I'm just, um, I'm just not quite sure on this one. I definitely, this one's going back because of that flaw. Um, okay. okay. All right. Sorry, I had the, the, the floor. I have a little... Um, heater on the floor and that was running the whole time in this last part so I hope that wasn't very annoying in the sound um, so anyway I'm gonna this is the last item this is the last item that I got definitely keeping this one um, 
And this is a new item to me and a fairly new, I think this is the first time I've seen it. I don't think it came out in any other patterns yet. Um, but this is the mini, the mini tote pack. I don't think it says mini, mini tote pack purse. I don't know, but I know it's, well, I've got the label here. I should just read that, right? The mini tote pack. And this is in um, the classics on the green pattern again. So I've got a lot of the dot work. I'm trying to figure out a way to get these tags out of the way. Um, so I've got a good snow white placement on there, which is really nice. And then I also got a really great um, Tigger placement right in the center down here. Um, so this is a new to me style um, and uh, is um, just a little bit smaller, I believe, than the small backpack. Um, I did a little upload uh, and review of this bag already. So that's been on my channel already. So you can go look at that. Um, like kind of a walkthrough of it. But um, I was just really pleased with um, the way this feels. I have not actually used it and taken it out yet. I was still on the fence about whether I was going to keep it. Um, I, I like the size of it compared. The small backpack was a little, not, I don't know what I was looking for. More of a purse backpack feel than the small backpack feels to me. This one feels more like a kind of a purse backpack. I still think that I would prefer the straps to be a little bit narrower for this kind of small um, purse backpack style. Um, these seem a little bit over the top as far as what you need um, for something this light, light weight. Uh, but I was really thrilled with, you know, the pattern placement I got on here with Tigger and Snow White. Um, that's a great shot of Eeyore there. So, yeah, so I was just really kind of thrilled to find that Vera had created another sort of purse backpack um, that we could get because I love purse backpacks. Um, I filled this a little bit up to try to stuff it so that I could get rid of this wrinkle here because this kind of bothered me when I first got it. It was folded over and I still can't get this kind of, I'm gonna probably have to just maybe put a little bit of a wet towel in there, like a damp towel and really fill it out. But I can't get this bottom to stop this bending. And I think that um, it's just unfortunate, this particular one, because I've seen a lot of other people with this and it was, they were nice and full on the bottom, um, but they probably got them at the store where they were already unfolded and been sitting out for a while. So you can see that's kind of, I'm having trouble getting that to sort of fill out um, this, you know, both corners are kind of doing that. So the only way I'm gonna be able to fix that is to get something kind of damp, I think, inside and push those out so they'll dry in place. But I really loved it. And then let's see if we can just look at the, placement I got in the back again. So there's Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore, the Cheshire Cat, and Alice, and again just the beautiful flowers in this pattern and the dot work. Really love this cluster right here. This too. I mean I can't get enough of the white flowers on here. This, this, this one came out great because I got so much white in this bag compared to the other bags that I have. I got a lot of white. And I really like this this yellow flower. I really like that. And I don't know if I got that on any of the other bags. Like I'd never noticed it before, but there's this sort of pale yellow, not as dark as sort of these more amber looking flowers. So that's it. That was my um, Vera Bradley Classics on the Green Classic Swirl Haul. And um, yeah, I'm a little, <laughs> I have to admit that I'm a little like, oh my gosh, so much money. And I, you know, kind of feel like this sort of burnout, not burnout, I guess it's kind of a burnout. Like you get so hyped up for a pattern, you get so hyped up for the bags and they all arrive and then you don't know what to use first. And um, yeah, and, and just, just the decision making about whether I can keep it all and whether I should send it a few things back just to be a little bit more uh, fiscally responsible in my household. Um, but I kind of felt like this is a, uh, um, a special release because of them using Tavern on the Green as the 
the pattern in the background and um that we're you know we're we're moving into a different era of vera and i'm not uh i'm not as big of a fan of the new era of vera as i was in the past <laughs> the last few years were my favorites so um i don't know how much more um vera i'm gonna buy but I just wanted to show you what I got in this um, pretty pattern. So thanks for hanging out, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.